are systematically destroying the very things we depend on for survival. Nature is declining globally at rates unprecedented in human history. These cufflinks of watches show me and remind me we have no time to waste. The scale is immense. If we do not act now, many of the million threatened species will become as extinct as the dodo on this tide. It's a dire warning from one of the world's top scientists. The biggest contributor to this decline is human use and abuse of land and sea resources. We've altered or destroyed three quarters of land environments, two thirds of marine habitats, and 85% of the most important wetland regions. More than one third of the world's land and nearly 75% of freshwater resources are now devoted to crop or livestock production. The knock-on effects are potentially catastrophic for human life, from water shortages to more climate instability. The UN says governments that focus purely on economic growth are a significant part of the problem. Governments need to realise that both climate change and loss of biodiversity are development issues. They undermine food security, water security, energy. They need to understand that if we degrade our environment, both climate change, loss of nature, it costs us economically. The cost of action is much cheaper than the cost of inaction. The report found that biodiversity in regions managed by Indigenous people isn't declining as rapidly. So it's urging policymakers to listen to their expertise, which historically has been ignored. The knowledge is there. We need to move to more bold implementation. Worldwide reaction to the report has been somewhat tempered. It had to compete for space with news of the birth of a British royal while in the US, three major TV news networks failed to mention it during prime time on the day the report was released. And it's not just this report that's fighting for attention. Media Matters found that US TV news coverage of climate change dropped 45% in 2018. But despite all evidence to the contrary, the report's authors hope this time will take notice. We don't want that people feel discouraged, that uh, there is nothing that can be done, that we've lost the battle because we have not lost the battle. We really want everyone to feel that they can contribute, that they are part uh, of the solution. It seems quite clear that we're not there yet, that we still do have time, but we don't have time to dither around. It's time to get started. So, what are we waiting for? Denise Savoya, the newsmakers.